Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan and I'm so happy you clicked on this video. Hi everybody, it's been a hot minute since I've talked to you guys. Um, it was just a crazy last few weeks. First of all, I got a really, really bad cold over spring break and I was trying to get jobs in the other school district and there weren't any. It was the week after their spring break and there weren't any jobs, like maybe one or two and they for some reason didn't work out for me, but otherwise there weren't any. It was kind of crazy. And to be honest, I really didn't want to work anyways. I was super sick. I had a pounding sinus infection and it just wasn't the greatest situation. So I did film a little bit um, two weeks ago when I was subbing still. So I'll insert that clip here. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Yesterday for Monday, I just took the day to myself to have a me day. Today I am doing a half day. There haven't been very good jobs over this week, so there's that. Um, so it's a half day and it's like half of a half day that I'm going to be in first grade and then the other half of my half day I'm in third grade. Currently they are on a field trip or coming back from their field trip so I'm just hanging out. There are no plans so I'm kind of nervous about that. Um, Otherwise, yeah, I'm just gonna eat and I'll catch you guys later. So luckily she did have a plan. I didn't find it until they got back from their field trip, which they got back a little bit late. And then I had to take them outside for a recess, which I just have this really lame coat and it's kind of still cold outside, so that kind of sucked. But um, yeah, um, so. It worked out it was fine now I just read them a story it is hold on it is called if you give a mouse a brownie so just part of that cause and effect um, mouse a brownie or mouse a cookie type of book so that was fun and then they just went to lunch so it is my lunch time and then when they come back I'm going to do a little bit of math with them and then I'm headed down to the third grade class. So I think I'm gonna head down there now and try to get the lesson plan if I can. And then I'll just come back up here and I think read it over and all of that stuff. And then it'll be the end of the day. So it should go by pretty quick. All right, um, yeah, I survived. And I say that because There is a reason that I tend to, um, I guess, avoid accepting jobs at this school. <laughs> and I want to try to be as politically correct as I can because honestly, you guys, you never know who's watching and sees your stuff. So I do try to be as careful as I can when talking about specific classrooms and schools. And this one is tough. Um, there's a lot of behavior type things that um, make it very, very difficult, especially for a sub. And it's hard when a teacher tells you that they have a tough class for them. So for you to come in as a complete stranger is very very difficult and she said try to make relationships so I really tried and unfortunately I think that riled them up more so than trying to get them on my side I tried to do like rewards of a little bit of free choice on the computers or a game and it just didn't work with them and you know I think the main thing with that is just knowing that <clears throat> the same tricks will not work for every class and will not work for every student and yeah so just something to keep in mind I guess for me and for you guys is like you know games usually work but for some it just riles them up and it's not a good situation 
sorry, a student walked in. Um, it's the end of the day, and they have an after-school program called Girls on the Run. Um, I don't even know what I was talking about right before that, but anywho, each class has its own needs, and it's just important to know your students and figure out what those needs are, and if it's to be strict, then that's what you have to do. And, um, yeah, so I'm going to end there. I am taking a the Minnesota teaching test about pedagogy tomorrow. So wish me luck on that, and I'll catch you guys on Thursday. Bye! Happy Friday, everybody. I am working in a special education position today for a full day. Here are all the materials. Here's a fun game to practice with money and adding. It's called Don't Break the Bank, and this is just a regular piece of paper. And what you do is you put a paper clip here and your pencil or pen, and then you can spin it. Obviously, I have one hand, so that's not very easy, but and then whatever it lands on, you add that coin. So I would add a penny and then whatever else it turns to. And then if it lands on the hammer, you just count up how many you got. And then um, we were just writing it down on a piece of paper. So you can see those are all the different ones. And we were trying to beat it and see what our best score would be. And then you just put them back. And then you keep starting over and it's pretty fun. The girl I was playing with was in second grade and she really liked it. So, and this is just a normal piece of paper and a paper clip. And then you can have the money as well. So yeah, um, that was just a little bit that I ended up making from that week, but I really didn't sub that much that week either. And yeah, so I kind of took, took it a little bit easy for a little while there, but I started my long-term sub position in fourth grade on Monday. So today is Wednesday and um, it was pretty good. They are still kind of getting used to me and even though they had seen me, they weren't surprised when I, I was here, which was great. We talked about the new baby, so that was awesome and everything like that. And then they wrote me some letters and I just asked them to tell me about themselves and um, everything like that. So that was awesome just to read over and get to know them a lot better. And I actually wrote them a letter back as well, just including one or two things from each of their letters just to have them know that I actually read them. And I loved them. They were great. They told me a lot about the kids and it was fabulous. And then Tuesday was actually a snow day. <laughs> um, so yeah, my second day here, I got a snow day, which was crazy. And yeah, so we were supposed to have MCA testing yesterday, the Minnesota Comprehension Assessment for Reading, basically their state testing. And obviously we didn't have that, so we're gonna try to fit that in somewhere else. Um, this was so they write pretty comprehensive morning messages here but since this is kind of my first week um i think i'm taking it a little bit easier but tomorrow if i can show that um i will so for mca testing i just wrote you guys are smarties and then i wrote a few things about smarties and then they wrote some things at the bottom about how to be successful for the MCAs and then I already wrote tomorrow's message out because we have a PLC in the morning so we won't really have that much time but we're talking about perspective so I basically just same kind of format with good morning and then I wrote about perspective and how to look at perspective we're reading two Red Riding Hood books one from the I think the narrator's perspective and one from the wolf's perspective so the one we're reading tomorrow is called whoops the wolf's story and we're just going to compare and contrast those about perspective because then they are starting 
a unit on the human body and they're going to write from the perspective of a body part. So we're kind of talking about that and then they're also doing book reports. So I said, what perspective is your book report from? So I think it'll go well and I'm kind of excited to see what perspective they talk about. Um, otherwise, let's see. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to find a good balance. I'm trying to be understanding that, you know, they just got back from spring break and we just had a snow day and this, the weather outside has been kind of crazy. So I'm just trying to be understanding and um, work with them, try to meet their needs, but also have them understand what I need from them. And then with MCA testing, it's really tough. Um, we did our first MCA testing today and it was, it was tough. There were some that were definitely done by the end of the day. And luckily it's at the end of the day, so pretty much we just get our stuff on and go. So I will talk to you guys more tomorrow. Um, that's kind of it for my update. I've applied to a couple jobs. Um, and I'm trying to find something for the summer, but it's kind of complicated. I'll talk more about that tomorrow for you guys. So yeah, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. See you then. Bye. Happy Friday, everybody. Um, I didn't film yesterday just because I was kind of busy. And um, to be honest, I didn't really have anything new to share. So I have a couple of new things to share today, though. So I thought I'd share with you guys. Um, this week, again, it was... It was a little bit tough um, just in terms of because I think I was getting to know the kids and they were still kind of testing the waters with me and it was just kind of a crazy week. I told you guys about that on Wednesday and everything like that. So today was a lot better. I think just because it, I don't know, it might have been because things kind of calmed down. We didn't have MCA testing and everything like that. So it was a much better day, although there were five kids gone, which was kind of crazy, but nonetheless. Um, anywho, this is the little to-do sheet I was using this week, and you can see everything got crossed out, so that was good. Um, pretty much just using that to keep myself on track and making sure I'm getting everything done. And then the full-time teacher in here left this plan book and it just basically has an outline of what I will be doing for well what I did for this week and then the next two weeks and so all I did was then kind of copy those things down in my plan book just to give myself a better idea and as things kind of changed I can just change them in here as well and little things like putting out my newsletter and stuff like that. So this is kind of what next week looks like. And um, this was definitely an easy week because I didn't really have to do that much academic teaching. Obviously there was me up there in front of them doing different things, but it wasn't really academic based some of it was some of it wasn't a lot of it was just kind of easing them back we had to do some mca prep and then um i also was just kind of introducing myself and expectations and the kids wrote me a letter and different things like that so and of course the snow day kind of changed things up a bit too so it is what it is um, so yeah, we're going to get into a lot more of the academics next week. They are starting a unit on the human body, so we really have to get into that. We're reading a hook book. So the hook book is Why Feet Smell. So that's going to be our hook book into our human body unit, and they use that for both Reader's Workshop and Writer's Workshop. So... We're going to be doing a couple of different things in that. So my morning message is just a fun informational one about the human body and just kind of some of the systems. And then for math, we are starting data. That is their last unit that they have to cover. And we're covering that right before 
we go into the MCAs. So also part of my morning message. This was her idea. Um, I'll, you know, I'm writing the words, but she has the basic idea that she gives me. And anyways, the question is, have you ever broken a bone? And then they're going to tally if they've broken a bone or not. So yeah, and then we're going to get into data and kind of what it is, why it's important, and then how to do some solving for data as well. And then next weekend, I am doing my indoor triathlon, which I'm super excited about. Um, I'm looking over here because that's where my stuff is. And then I noticed for writer's workshop this week, um, I was kind of, I kind of went into it without a clear plan. So this week I'm going to go into writer's workshop with a more clear plan of kind of what I want to do and what my expectations are. So I'm really going to hit home on some of this perspective and point of view information and ideas to really get it into their heads. They have to write a they have to write a paper from the perspective of a body part. So we are going to talk about perspective and points of views and things like that just to get that into their mind of kind of what that looks like. So we're going to talk about a couple of different things like that. And then I'm just going to have them write a short story from a different point of view and then we'll share a couple. And then on Tuesday, we're talking about using I when writing a story. So I think we're going to write a story together using I, just like a short time that we can write a little bit of a story. And then we're going to write a story from another character's point of view to get them kind of in that mindset. And then they're going to continue working on that throughout the week and then share it on Thursday and Friday. So that's kind of our writer's workshop this week. I really wanted to get it into my head so that I knew what I was doing instead of kind of this week I was kind of winging it a little bit and a couple times it just didn't work out very well. So anywho, um, yeah, I'm going to let you guys go. I know it wasn't super exciting this week, but you know, sometimes that is what it is. So I hope you guys have a great weekend and I will see you next week. Bye, guys.